Do you want to level up your running, make yourself run a little bit faster and have a bit of fun while doing so? Well then, have you tried doing a track session? I'd argue it's one of the most integral aspects of running. People have been doing it for years, races are held here, Olympic medals are all decided on this oval piece of rubber. But how is it gonna benefit you, the average runner? The good thing about something like running is that it's pretty much the more you do it, the better you get. That's kind of the general rule. However, especially as you get faster, you're gonna wanna specialize in getting your speed work in. Speed work is anything that isn't an easy run, basically. That can mean threshold, tempo, VO2 max work, sprints, and those are a lot of words and they can seem very, very daunting at first. Let's just tackle track sessions and see if we can get you running a little bit faster. So the track might seem like a bit of a scary place to people, but I guarantee it'll improve your running a lot. It's great fun. A lot of tracks have other people on them so you can get to know other people. It's a nice controlled environment to do your sessions in. And I think mentally it really helps you lock into a pace. Everything's nicely measured. It may be intimidating, but I don't think it should be. So on Tuesday, which was a couple of days ago, I did a track session and I'm gonna talk you through it as I did it. First of all, I did a few little stretches at home just to limber up the legs. Been a big week of training, you know, get everything working nicely and then headed to the track. Always important to do a warm up before your track sessions. A little jog, that can be kind of five to 10 minutes of jogging or a little bit longer depending on your abilities. A few drills, which are some dynamic stretches. These can include heel flicks, high knees, some skips, some calf stretches, anything you want. I won't go into detail in that video because that could be a literally a whole video in and of itself. Something to get your body moving, but at least a little jog. Then you are ready to hit your track session. So in essence, what is a track session? Running for shorter periods of time at higher intensity with recovery in between. And depending on what distance you're focusing on, those sessions might look a bit different. In this case, I was focusing on a 5K session and the session looked something like this. So I had three by 800 meters. So that was 800 meters, 800 meters, 800 meters, all with 90 seconds of standing recovery in between. So I'd run two laps of the track, 400 meter track, two laps, stop for 90 seconds, have a little walk around, go again, stop for 90 seconds, go again, stop for 90 seconds. Then I did three by 600 meters, so exactly the same thing, but only with one and a half laps of the track, and I only stopped for 75 seconds this time. And finally finished up with three by 400 meters, so just one lap of the track with only 60 seconds of recovery. So I was running this at my 5K pace, and if you don't know what that is, that's absolutely fine. It's a pretty hard effort, depending on what kind of time you're gonna be doing it in. It should feel pretty hard by the end of the rep, but then that is what the recovery is for. You can recover a little bit, get the heart rate down and go again. Sometimes sessions have jog recoveries or walk recoveries. That means you can recover in a just different way. This one was a standing recovery because it's pretty fast. I love doing sessions with jog recoveries because um, it teaches you to recover while still running. There are even things called floats, which is recovery for the devil, essentially, where you have to still keep running slightly fast, like a steady run in between your reps. So that is the session that you can do. What are you gonna think about during it? Well, the good thing about a track is it's a really controlled environment. Apart from wind and the weather and things like that, it's completely flat. You've got markers every 100 meters and more. It's really easy to keep track of your splits, especially if you've got a watch on. So it's a really good environment to practice specific paces Think about your form, think about your running style, think about how efficiently you're covering the ground and think about hitting those paces that you're gonna to need to get that 5K PB. Running faster isn't just good for your fitness as well, it's essential for getting your aerobic system to be able to function for something like a 5K. But it's also really good for your form, like biomechanically, running faster is great. It's really, really hard to sprint and run super fast inefficiently. Like you notice it a lot more than when you're running easy. Things like how high you're lifting your knee, how much your legs are flicking up behind you, how upright your upper body is, all becomes very obvious and kind of slots into place a bit when you're running faster. So aside from the obvious aerobic benefits of getting you fitter, it should also get your form better and get you a bit stronger as well. Obviously you don't want to be doing this every run you do. If you only run three times a week, don't do a track session every single time because 
because you'll get injured and you don't need that kind of stimulus all the time. Make sure to keep your easy runs nice and easy. That being said, a track session is a pretty good time to go hard, to test yourself. As well as training you physically, it will train you mentally for when it gets hard in a race. Those last few reps might be really, really hard, but you're in that kind of controlled environment. You can stop whenever you want if you really, really want to, but you can really push yourself as hard as you possibly can. How would you go about getting on a track? Well, there are tracks everywhere across the country. There is probably one within a couple of miles of you. Some of them are owned by athletics clubs and you have to be part of that club to be able to run on the track. Others you can just hire for an hour or part of the day and it's usually not very much, doesn't cost very much. Uh, the one that I went to is three pounds for a session. So in the grand scheme of things, not a lot and it's a great place to train and potentially meet like-minded people. A lot of athletics clubs also train on the track. So if you join one of them, you'll probably get track sessions within them. So you found your track, you're not sure what session to do. Well, the good thing about the internet is there are hundreds and hundreds of people's sessions out there on Strava, on YouTube, for different distances, on people's websites. You can find a session, an example session, pretty much everywhere. And I've already given you one. Three by 800, three by 600, three by 400 can be your first session if you want it. It's a really controllable place to try out things to get yourself running faster, maybe to gain a bit of confidence and hopefully be able to attack that PB. So I really hope you do go out and try running on a track. I think it will make you faster. It certainly made me faster. I really like the mental challenge. I like the physical benefits that it gives me. Generally track sessions, I really look forward to. There are times you feel fast, you know, you're running fast it feels good. So go out there, let me know in the comments how you get on if you do do a track session, especially if you do the one that I suggested to you. And I hope you have a great time out there on the track and hope you get a new PB because of it. If you want any other running things explained, my phone's just run out of storage onto the GoPro. Literally was just gonna say, I'll make a video about it in the future if you want it. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.